Podcast. All right, everybody. Hey, good show, Justin. Yo. Yo. That was a good show. Hey, by the way, show. let me give a shout out. Uh, we did not do it during the, the show, but thank you to everybody who came out to uh, uh, Sketchfest. I know there were some people that fucking flew from across the country and shit. Uh, uh, your, your support, greatly appreciated. Uh, we love being a part of it. Uh, and uh, uh, the episode will be a bank show. We'll put it out if we ever are in a in a... In a pinch. In a pinch. Yep. But thank you guys so much for coming out. Thank you very much. Thank you to Veronica Belmont and Anthony Carboni and Rebecca Watson also for coming out to the show. Oh, uh, is that my good friend I see coming in? I think I'm 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 having to peer off into the distance as he comes into focus because he's finding his way, taking his time, going his own way in his own pace. Yes. Ah, oh, yes, man. Hello, yes, man. Yes. How have you? Uh, have you been good, yes, man? Yeah. Oh, did you have a? You had a fun weekend, I bet. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Maybe. Yes. Uh, maybe go ta- go downtown. Maybe uh, get a few yes. drinks. Yes. Uh, meet some meet some people. Yes. Then uh, really do your yes man business, huh? Uh, no, I didn't. Uh, I wouldn't expect the yes man to be, to kiss and guess. Uh, no, uh, miss, miss. <laughs> very good. Well, uh, uh, I'll let. Uh, that's great. Uh, it's you know I wouldn't expect. Yes. <laughs> I don't expect you to be the yes and tell type. Yes. That you are. Yes. Yes. Uh, did you? Uh, let's see. What what happened? Did you? Did, did you? Did you see the uh, the the meatball tweet? Meatball Mike. Oh. Ah, 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 yes. Uh, and I bet, I bet, of course, uh, immediately you could determine which one was the meatball man. Anyway, <laughs> I'm voting for Klobuchar. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew? Wow. Who knew? This man, a Big stunning endorsement time. to the eve of the Iowa caucus for Klobuchar. Oh my goodness! Well, uh, let's uh, let's take a look at some showbot titles while Brian is in the uh, uh, in the bathroom in the T word, yeah. mm-hmm. including uh, the other hard R. Pretty good. I don't know. I don't. I don't, I don't. <laughs> That's when I became Deep Throat. Fuck, man. That uh, slut uh. engine optimization slash clan. <laughs> <laughs> she swallowed the barrel. She swallowed the barrel. I don't, I don't even know where that's from. Um, let's see. Animal hypnosis. Possibly autism. You you calling out Forrest Gump as autistic was something uh, that was inspired. I yeah I, uh, I I I hope I walked the right side of that fine fine line. Oh we, oh no it was it was literally a path to hell and and you did your best with it. <laughs> uh, Hillary R word Clinton is. <laughs> <laughs> Connie Chung show. Absolute unit Bill Clinton. He was a fucking Chungus man. Yeah. He was green screened under green grass. Yes. Never go full Rodham. That oh, sounds yeah. like an episode for Rush. She looks right in the camera and goes, I was <laughs> deep throat. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. Everybody loves mayonnaise. Mayonnaise malaise. Mayonnaise malaise is not bad. But, yeah. <laughs> crazies. <laughs> Man, crazies. I like to imagine I, I, this wasn't I, a mistake. I like Man Crazy. Man Crazy is uh, <laughs> just that's just a great title. I like that at any time. Just, just yeah, call it I, I can Man back crazy. just Man Crazy with an exclamation point. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty good. Science is lazily looking at Tumblr. Please. 
Science is at work. Yeah. Uh, the Z word alone might be good because it would ironically achieve the same thing <laughs> that all those clickbait headlines do. Oh, and that you would think like, oh, what? what's the Z word? <laughs> and then they would get to the game. That's pretty good. In fact, I think we, we can do some afterwards. Did I have? No, I didn't. Yeah, I, oh, we had zombie. Zombie was the fake Z word. Yeah. Uh, I, oh, or I, I like I, don't I, say I, the Z word. Because then, then on our in the context of our show, it'll it'll stri it sound like like we're making some joke besides zombie. Uh, did you see Bryce Spiderbite has the gif of you uh, uh, walking out after oh. the deep throat moment? Oh yeah, let me let me uh, uh, let's pick a title first. I'm, I'm looking at it. It's very okay. I'm man crazy exclamation point. Final answer. Lock it in. The man, the man, man, crazy. Just man, crazy. Just man, man crazy. crazy. Exclamation point. Okay. Well, yeah. thank you to Ren Igu and everyone who submits show titles using the bangus command in the Twitch chat room. Uh, we've got this gif here of your boy. <laughs> like, like, I, I love that you have this attitude of like you're so crazy <laughs> you <I'm> out <laughs> you you wild you wild now all right uh you guys talk while i read nina oh man oh man bum, 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 bum. uh that uh that first act bit worked uh, better than i thought uh, that, that that there was some gold I was good, man. It's been a while since we just found some web shit to fucking break down. Yeah, and it uh, I think it translates pretty well for the audio crowd. Like, you certainly hear all of the audio, and you can... Uh, 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 totally, yeah. No, I think it, I think it works. I think it works. Oh, by the way, uh, Bonnie texted me uh, saying that she's going to bed, but she writes... <clears throat> Please let everyone know MC Allergy had nothing to do with Mr. Peanut's death. Oh. They were actually friends from a distance. Oh, look at that. Uh, by the way, did you see uh, 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 Planters putting on hold the Mr. Peanut is dead campaign that was going to culminate with a Super Bowl ad because, because of the untimely death of Kobe Bryant. Because so in, the, in the video, because they, they already aired the ad, they aired the him dying ad, and he dies like... Is, it's, either a car, it's either a car going off of a cliff or it might have been a helicopter. Oh, no. I, I believe that's the case. Someone can research this, but I'm pretty sure that is... I, I did not know about them canceling the ad, but yeah, the whole point is that he sacrifices himself to save... Uh, uh, Wesley Snipes and uh, uh, one of the UCB guys. My God! It was a bus, says FLS Carnage, with an explosion. Oh, uh, it was a bus. A car. All right, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I mean, that's got to be one of the weirder moments, right? If you're working at the advertising company that's overseeing the Planters ad, that like, you know, you're just monitoring, like, oh, okay, let's just make sure, and then like. This gigantic world affecting death happens, and then you're like, should we pull our fake peanut dying ad? Like, because it's very wait, silly. Wait, wait, it's a multi-million dollar campaign. That that culminates in a sports event <laughs> that that we can uh oof 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 oof. And we'll, we'll almost certainly have some kind of moment of silence for Kobe Bryant, most likely, considering it's happening a week, literally a week to the day after his death. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yipes, stripes. Oh, that's Gary v Vaynerchuk's ad company? Jesus. Oh, <laughs> wow. Yay. Yeah. Uh... Good God. Yeah. Yipe stripes, man. Man, uh, uh, take that footage and then real quick call the social media team over at MC Bloom. <laughs> Bloomers. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, I, I, uh, just before you came in, like uh, Bryce was asking about Mike Bloomberg. And I was like, oh, MC Bloomers or whatever. And I started to rip and I said, yeah, you know, his rap. Hey, everybody have your news? That's great because I own it. <laughs> no, that was MC Bloomers. <laughs> Shit, that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> um, so yeah, we should be uh, set to go 
tomorrow or sorry next week next week tuesday should be fine i'll be back from iowa by then because the caucus is on monday the week after that we might have to shift to one uh we might have to move it back to wednesday actually now that i think about it uh just to make sure that because tuesday night is the actual election night uh wow that's so soon Oh yeah, no, it's it's fucking on, man. There was a moment where shit was popping off on Twitter today, uh, and it was like getting like really fucking nasty and like uh, uh, it's like we don't need to show the video, but there was this video that went viral of like CNN of like everybody just like laughing and making like oh you know uh, Republicans are idiot rubes and using Southern accents and shit like that. Oh no, and so. Uh, Mike Huckabee, former governor of Arkansas and Fox News host, uh, you know, lit him up because he does these, he, he gets sassy on Twitter. And uh, one of the guys who was in the ad who has been fiercely defensive, uh, then like lights into Mike Huckabee and says that he should be ashamed of the daughter that he raised because she went on to become the Trump spokeswoman. Uh, and it was like, just everyone's like, wow, this is spicy for fucking like free lunch on a, on a Tuesday. And it's like, I just wanted to do whatever the equivalent of like the, the, the 30 rock, like what a week lemon it's Wednesday meme. Like I just kind of wanted to do for this election season of like, man, what an election season. Lemon it's January. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Four months of this. Ten months of uh, uh, this or or more vitriolic. Yeah, uh, there is. I'm, I'm listening to a bunch of uh, podcasts talking about the way people um, uh, are handling it, it, uh, in a world post monoculture where we live in individual uh, bubbles of our own creation. And at a time that not everybody realizes that there's like a cigarette smoking effect to that, that it makes you unable to literally understand other people because you're just you 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 no longer have the same narrative background uh, to talk with each other. There are people like it's measurable that holidays are getting shorter and uh, more people are creating no politics rules uh, for yeah. talking or whatever but uh, there are there are increasingly dating apps that will only expose you to other people who already hold the political beliefs that you have um i think it's awful i i i, I really hate it and uh uh in fact i was i was trying to explain to penny you know who is you know very very intelligent uh but <laughs> was able to listen to the logic of everything I was saying about why uh, someone can be a certain way and you don't need to reduce them to the three letter word bad. And, and that they're like, sure. uh, like you, you could think they're wrong. You could think they're gross. You could think they're all, all these adjectives, or you could think their behavior is blank. You could think their voting record is blank, but, uh, it, and she got, but at the end of it, she was all like, "Yeah, but but Trump's bad." <laughs> and then so, yeah. and I'm and I'm like, uh, "Sweetheart, I'll bet you twenty dollars that you could, if you bothered to try, find five things that he's done in office that you really like. You could find somebody he pardoned, that or you could find a policy that he approved. You could find a budget that he re-upped." And she was like, "She's like, I don't want to. He's just bad." And I'm just like, "You got a kiddo. This is." It's not. It's not going to be great for you. <laughs> yeah, but I think someone. I mean, I uh, bless you for for giving her lessons for which, you know, uh, 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 she may not be ready to understand. But like that at that point, I remember where where I was, where you're just like, you're testing the accelerator. You're trying to find how fa- how hard you can push it down and how much you're like, you as soon as you discover evil in the world wherever it be and let's remove it from politics for a second like that becomes like oh that's like a color that exists like again like, now i need to find every instance of of that 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 shades the picture that i see in front of me uh i also think the com- example is maybe a little extreme i mean that gives like a lot of propriety to the, to the word bad 
which is like I can still see him as like not literally like uh the the devil with horns and a tail and come to the adult conclusion that he's a bad that he's bad. Well, I think I mean uh, semantics, right? But, I mean like we can we can determine whatever the appropriate word is for not the devil with horns, right? Like whatever whatever you want to reduce that to that you should think like okay well there there are more if anything the problem is is that it becomes a pejorative that stretches the meaning uh where what brian i think is is right to say is like hey look define if even just for intellectual honesty define exactly why like that they are you know these are the things that i do not like instead of just bad like you know like oh like that's like you, you can come to that conclusion maybe even but first at least parse it understand yeah. that there's well, complexity to, and likewise also uh, to i guess what made me think of this is you mentioned how vitriolic things that we're getting on on twitter um it's uh, it's a real unfortunate thing that uh that that divisive rhetoric consistently gets retweeted much more like like even if you're making the same point using divisive words that reduce some team to a, a cartoon of themselves is is flat out more effective to get other people to spread your message or whatever and i'm like that's that's not great that's not great because it it, it means like it it incentivizes and um uh, creates a reason you know for everybody to to however bad it is now we're on track for it to get worse and worse oh. as there, it, we will never be at a point where it will be worse than the next 10 months. Like it is going to be fucking radioactive for, for the next 10 months. Like it is just, uh, uh, you know, uh, among the things like that I am very, well, not very worried, but like it, I've had a lot of anxiety over the last 48 hours about like leaving for this trip and everything and part of it is first day of school jitters of like all right i've 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 gone and covered stuff right i've gone and done uh, a political commentary where a director told me where to be and i had to sit down and talk the way that i sit down and talk all the time in front of a camera but like going out and doing this version of the show a little bit different a little bit more like my old reporting stuff a little bit more of having to pre-plan and figure out my day and drive and, and do all that kind of stuff. Uh, but another part of it is like, you know, numbers have picked up on them on the podcast. The Patreon is at a, at a, at an insane level right now. And it doesn't seem to be slowing down. I wouldn't expect, I mean, expect it to slow down now before the 10 months when everyone's going to really care. Um, and part of me is like, well, like, at some point, I've already noticed more of it. People are going to get mad. People are going to get really, really, oh, really mad, mad. At you for not, mad picking, at uh, for not picking a team and for... Or saying a thing like, you know, I, I, so I found some lady that made, like, you know, had some impeachment thing. And I, said, I don't want to get too far into it because then sure. we'll get into the nuance of it. But, like, in general, it was a, I thought, very reasonable laying out of, like, why the question from the Republican side of, like, is this worthwhile to, is this act worthwhile and the standard we want to set at why presidents should be removed worthy? Right. It was it didn't even come down on a side, but just like, hey, let's break this down. I thought it was a very well written thing. And uh two or three people just out of the woodwork, like fucking oh fucking that's ridiculous that this would even be considered reasonable. It's only because there's fucking state run media and yada yada yada. And it's like, you know, it's it's one of those things where you got to think twice about even responding to it. Oh yeah, you because, can't you can't give no you can give no energy to it. Uh, uh, much like the nurtured heart approach that that we have resolved to do with our children, you steadfastly resolve to give zero energy to any any of that bad behavior. Well, I mean, uh, because also it's like, I, 
it's built on assumptions that like, oh, all right, well, do I, my instinct is to like attack the assumptions, right? Like then strategically I'm like, no, 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 do the judo thing where I find the one bit that I agree uh, or I, I think is morally understandable and I focus totally on that and just disregard everything that I know is going to be a terrible conversation going forward, right? Uh, but I'm like, Lemon, it's January. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, and that and Matt Hag says, just don't look. I mean, you know, this is like what uh, uh, Mikey's actually had really, really good uh, commentary on this. And, and with Brian, uh, with like YouTube comments, it's like they can be awful places. But if your job is to make YouTube videos, you can't afford not to. Like you need to go do it because other people are going to look at it and either you can curate your your space and you can make it a better place for the innocents that are going to come and and watch it or answer questions that are relevant or highlight and and reward people who are doing things uh well or you can let it just grow into a fucking awful cesspool and you have to do it yeah uh, and and that is is just that's part of the job in the case of an email where somebody is very upset because you know they didn't like your take or whatever it's like you've got you got three strat strategies you can um you can uh, this is somebody with a lot of energy that you can try to judo that energy and say like oh sooner or later this person i'm going to say something that this person really really likes so my job yeah. is to get them to keep watching until they get to that part that they like for example uh somebody you could tell is new to the modern rogue channel because they're all like guy on the left doesn't even do the whatever right and and then and then you see same account new video like guy on the left with the glasses is bah! and it's like this is somebody who's currently hate watching but he's watching yeah. so so if i just give him a little bit of love and a little bit of nudge a little bit of like you know uh, stick around we grow on you or or oh did you see this episode i do get it right over here uh then all of a sudden you know they they have that energy but it's completely redirected into a positive way and oftentimes they become a fan or so that's option one just try to judo it option two give no energy to it like it, it, not worth it uh uh it, maybe they keep watching maybe they don't but the one way to guarantee that they hang up and and don't come back is to you know try to try to explain to them why they're wrong or or try to meet yeah. force with force that that ain't gonna happen yeah i mean and look it ain't my first day on the internet like uh, i i know i i know i know how to handle stuff uh anybody who's been around it long enough at least has a, a a head start with that but uh man we're gonna see an ugly primary and we're going to see a very 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 ugly general election like there is there is no there used to be the thing that i used to love politics because everybody else found it boring they were very boring to most tactical decisions that were made that I found endlessly fascinating. Now, for better and worse, the rest of the world finds everything fascinating. <laughs> and, uh, uh, you know, I, I think it's it's a reason why I'm able to do the show and I'm able to make a living doing it. Uh, but also... <laughs> <it's January. laughs> uh yeah. Well, uh, I'm sad that you won't be able to do that Idaho bit. I I both might be doing it for the podcast. I don't know if I uh, the video the video probably not, but I, I'm sure at some point I'm going to be at a bar and I will uh oh, just I will, be, a <laughs> uh, be able to just talk to the bar. It's like, hey, can I do a bit? I'm doing a, a thing for a podcast. You mind if I just interview you for, for two seconds and just be like you know, serious and, and then get to the punchline. <laughs> uh, right on, man. So, uh, do we have anything else? I mean, it's kind of early for us to hang up the hat. You want to do some outtakes? Yeah. Some extra extras from the game. Yeah. What we can do. Uh, here's one. Holly Willoughby sends Philip Schaff Schofield into meltdown by saying the W word on this morning. <laughs> from Birmingham uh, mail.co.uk. Okay, the W word. 
and th- throws who into a into a, a Holly Willoughby sends Philip Schofield into a meltdown by saying W word on this morning. Oh, I was hoping she said like called him W word so he'd be wimp, but saying W word. Uh, weak, weak. Weak. Oh, that's a good one. Woman to a man calls him weak. Um. You know, it's, it sounds like a morning show, so I, I don't know. I'm going to take a wild <laughs> guess on wedding. I like Theater wedding. Monkey's, uh, what's up? <laughs> 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 All right. The answer we were looking for was <laughs> Willie. Willie. For, for. Uh, so uh, Dara asked a, a, a like, question. Like, like Dick Willie or yeah. or okay. Yeah, because it's in it's in the UK, so they don't say penis over there. They say Willie and hoo ha and and old and, mother's yeah. mother's old roll of of nickels. <laughs> is that old. common? Is that a common British phrase? That's one mother's of the ones that they use a lot. Nickel. I think. <laughs> Willie and I have a mother's old roll of nickels. Uh, that's why it's where the taste comes from. <laughs> it tastes like an old roll of nickels. I had a mother man at the pub, and next thing you know, I had his mother's old roll of nickels in my mouth. <laughs> Preaching best in Zach I, Ray. I, I'm out of roll of nickels in my mouth and 20 pence in my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> and next thing you know, I had a bit of a pound on my blouse. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, this is from theguardian.com. I'm the last blank in the Western world. New Zealand's David Shanks tackles the C word. Christian? Christian. Uh, okay. Christian. I'm the last <laughs> that blank. That would be a weird claim. Though. It's just a, <laughs> the last Christian. <laughs> Uh, uh, and the last Christian <laughs> and the last blank in the Western world. New England's David Shanks tackles the sea word. Crabber. Man, he loves getting in there grabbing them crabs. Oh. <laughs> you know, now they fucking just find these crabs on zip. <laughs> All right, the answer we were looking for was Sensor. I'm the last sensor. He's New Zealand's chief sensor. I'm the last sensor in the world. Huh. What? Why why would he say that? that oh a- wait, no, 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 because it's a state. I guess they do state it's a censor p- in New Zealand. Yeah, but last censor in the Western world. Oh, I guess I see. most most countries most don't most yeah most everywhere don't don't censor yeah. anything. Got it. Okay. He's essentially a content regulator responsible for classifying, restricting, or banning material he deems objectable, objectionable that New Zealanders can access, including everything from Hollywood blockbusters to terrorist videos, child pornography to T-shirts and pamphlets. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, Not an unusual yeah. world. Busy, role, world a busy life. day. Yeah. I imagine just like do it like on a fucking on an assembly line, just like kitty porn. No. Uh, the office? Yes. Okay, there we go. Uh, I got one more here. It is folly to take on social dysfunction while avoiding all mention of the P word. This is from the spinoff.co.nz. It's folly to take on the social dysfunction to take on social dysfunction while avoiding all mention of the P word. Propriety. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, say it one more time. It is folly to. T- it's an opinion piece, so it's written like this. It is folly to take on social dysfunction while avoiding all mention of the p word. Uh, uh pr- privacy. P- por- oh, pornography. Pornography. They're they're, they're uh, saying they're saying they're saying that 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 porn is the root of all social dysfunction. Porn is out there. Good, good boy going to church. Next thing you know, he sees one triple anal and he's fucking knocking over a liquor store. <laughs> All right. The answer that we were looking for is bum, bum, bum. poverty. poverty. Oh, oh, that is pretty good. Poverty. Yeah. You know, 
You're off to go pay your bills. You see one triple angle. <laughs> and next Suddenly you have no money. money. Oh, my God. We need that yeah. C word in here to shut that place down. Shut it down. That's <laughs> that C word. Uh, thank you again to Citrus who made this quiz today. It was a good one. Yeah. Yes. Very tough to uh, Google. I, I I put in about half of these. Very tough to Google this thing compared to like apologizes for. Oh, uh, uh, so so he gave just the headlines for all these, or no? He uh, he gave um, the the ones of his that I used are not um, uh, say slurs or uh, curse words. Mm -hmm. uh, but I I decided to cut out the ones that were slurs and curse words um, and replace them also with innocuous ones. Because we didn't um, need to, we didn't need to be saying some not as outdated <laughs> words as you might think. <laughs> uh, uh, actually, I'll tell you what I I do think we will. I'm gonna have to get out of here because I do have an early flight out to well, Idaho tomorrow. Wait, we'll, we'll we'll go ahead and wrap it up early tonight. Uh, but we gave we gave double double I could talk uh, double value on the laughs though. That was a good one. Right. And a good, good long pre-show. Yeah. 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 Nice Love you guys. Time. Alrighty, we'll be back, everybody, uh, next week. Uh, we might have some video games with Bryce on Friday. Uh, Cord Killers, weird things back on Monday. Everybody, have a good weekend. See ya. Bye. Bye.